April 25, 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant prepares for a routine safety test on reactor number four, a test designed to simulate a station blackout, a sequence of events that would tragically spiral out of control. Commencing turbine rundown test. Power levels dropping too fast. We need to shut it down. It's too late. Emergency shutdown failed. At 1.23 a.m., April 26, 1986, reactor number four exploded. What in God's name was that explosion? Control said it's the roof on reactor four. Big fire. Get water on the roof now. Move, move. They charged into the inferno. Heroes battling flames, unaware they were simultaneously confronting an invisible, lethal enemy. Radiation levels hundreds of times beyond deadly. Initial readings were dismissed as faulty equipment, but the truth was far worse. Sound of painful, racking coughs. The responders, heroes wading into the unknown, absorbed lethal doses within minutes. The levels are unimaginable. We can't hide this. We need to get people out. The city sleeps. Announce the evacuation for Pripyat immediately. The order was given. Pripyat, a symbol of Soviet progress, home to the plant's workers and their families, faced imminent abandonment. Panic set in. Over 1,000 buses mobilized, evacuating nearly 50,000 residents in just hours. They were told it was temporary, for three days only. They never returned. Pripyat became a ghost city, frozen in time. 